Imagine a giant crack splitting Africa in two. This isn't a scene from a science fiction movie. It's a real geological phenomenon happening right now. This isn't a movie. It's really happening. The East African Rift System, or EARS, is one of the most significant geological features on our planet. It's called the East African Rift System, or EARS for short. This massive rift stretches thousands of kilometers from the bottom of Africa all the way up to the Red Sea. It's a huge crack in the Earth's surface, stretching thousands of kilometers from the bottom of Africa all the way up to the Red Sea. This rift is a clear indication that our planet is dynamic and constantly evolving. It shows us that our planet is always changing. The East African Rift System is not just a single crack. It's a complex network of geological features. EARS isn't just one crack. It's a series of interconnected valleys, volcanoes and lakes that together form this incredible geological structure. It's a bunch of valleys, volcanoes and lakes. These features are a testament to the powerful forces at work deep within the Earth. It shows the powerful forces deep inside the Earth. These forces are slowly pulling Africa apart, creating new land and reshaping the continent. These forces are slowly pulling Africa apart, making new land and changing Africa as we know it. This process is known as continental rifting. This splitting is slow and takes millions of years, but it's still happening. The movement is so gradual that it's almost imperceptible on a human time scale. Scientists think the plates are moving apart a few millimeters each year. This might not sound like much, but over millions of years, it leads to significant geological transformations. That doesn't sound like much, but over a long time it makes big changes. The East African Rift System is a powerful reminder of the ever-changing nature of our planet. So, why is Africa splitting? This is a question that has intrigued scientists and geologists for many years. The answer lies deep within the Earth's structure and the dynamic processes that shape our planet. Let's look at how the Earth is built. The Earth is composed of several layers, each with its own unique properties and characteristics. The outside layer, called the lithosphere, is broken into pieces called tectonic plates. These plates are constantly moving, albeit very slowly, due to the forces acting upon them. These plates, float on a layer of gooey rock called the asthenosphere. The asthenosphere is semi-fluid and allows the tectonic plates to move. Under the East African Rift System, or EARS, a giant blob of hot rock is rising from deep inside the Earth. This process is known as mantle pluming. It's called a super plume, and it's like a giant blowtorch heating the lithosphere above it. This intense heat causes significant changes in the Earth's crust. When the lithosphere gets hot, it gets thin and weak, and it stretches and breaks. This process is what forms rift valleys, which are essentially large cracks in the Earth's surface. This makes the rift valleys, volcanoes, and earthquakes of ears. The geological activity in this region is a direct result of the lithosphere being stretched and broken apart. As the plates move apart, the rift valleys get wider and deeper. This ongoing process is gradually reshaping the landscape of East Africa. Eventually, the ocean will flood them, making a new ocean. This transformation will take millions of years, but it is a fascinating glimpse into the dynamic nature of our planet. EARS is a great example of plate tectonics in action. We can see its impact using maps, pictures from planes, and images from satellites. Satellite images show how big the rift is with its lines cutting across the land. Pictures from planes give us a closer look at the volcanoes, deep valleys and big lakes. Maps help us see where the rift is and how it might affect nearby countries. They show how the rift is slowly dividing Africa and making new coastlines. By looking at these images we can understand how powerful the Earth's processes are. Section 4. Tracking the Split Expert Insights and Predictions Scientists like marine geophysicist Ken MacDonald are studying ERs. They use cool technology like GPS to track the movement of the plates. Their data shows that Africa is definitely splitting. MacDonald and other scientists think the Afar region in Ethiopia will eventually be covered by the Red Sea. This will connect the Red Sea to the Indian Ocean, making a whole new sea. This will greatly change the geography and the animals and plants of the area. The research on ears teaches us a lot about how our planet changes. Section 5. A glimpse into the future. The implications of a new ocean. 
A new ocean in East Africa will change many things. This monumental shift will not only alter the physical landscape, but also the socio-economic and environmental fabric of the region. It will change the map of Africa, making new coastlines and maybe even new countries. The political boundaries we know today could be redrawn, leading to new geopolitical dynamics. Countries without a coastline, like Zambia and Uganda, might get access to the sea. This newfound access could revolutionize their economies, opening up new trade routes and opportunities for development. This could create new jobs, but also new problems. While economic growth is a possibility, there could also be challenges such as displacement of communities and environmental degradation. The changing land will also affect the animals and plants. Ecosystems that have existed for millennia will face new pressures and will need to adapt or risk extinction. They will need to adapt to the new environments. This adaptation process will be crucial for the survival of many species and will require careful monitoring and intervention. Understanding these changes is important for protecting them. Conservation efforts will need to be ramped up to ensure that both flora and fauna can thrive in their new habitats. The splitting of Africa is slow, but it won't stop. This geological process is a reminder of the Earth's ever-changing nature, driven by forces deep within the planet. We don't know exactly what will happen, but we know the Earth is always changing. These changes, while gradual, have profound impacts on the world we live in. EARS shows us this amazing transformation. By studying these shifts, scientists can better predict future changes and help societies prepare for the new realities of our planet.